Tell you, it is such a good feeling to log on to Rust, have not been raided, and just 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 feel so good about playing. And I am buzzing for this today. First things first, if you caught the last episode, you saw we put a shop down. We've sold a pickaxe for 50 scrap. I love it. Right. Let's just bank that 50 and then let's head out and just assess the local area now. Right, obviously we're day two of the wipe now, so things have uh, probably changed a bit. And the end game of today's video is I want bean cans and satchels, or at least to upgrade my blueprints, because last episode I think we got revolver in terms of weaponry, yep, yeah, and pistol bullets, so it would be very, very nice if we could get our hands on some explosive boom-booms now as well. Probably worth my while. I, I have plenty of farming to do today and stuff like that, but it is probably worth my while to grab these boxes and barrels and stuff while they're here. Just see if we can get anything good out of them. Try and do a recycle run or something, and we'll just, yeah, just roll with the punches today. I don't want to set too many goals. Obviously, we want to, the blueprint goal is a goal, but I don't want to set too much ahead of me. Thanks for your love on the last video, by the way, guys. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. If you guys were are really enjoying the series or looking forward to this episode, if you could drop a like. Let's try and hit over a thousand. I'd be super, super happy with you. Mentioned in the last episode, if you saw it, you'll know that I got super duper lucky with a guy crashing his minicopter. Never has anything so crazy happened to me before. Insane. See a gear guy down there. Gonna push the gear guy, I suppose. Well, we'll see where he lives anyway. Ooh. Presumably he lives in one of these bases, does he? Fair enough. All right, that's everything from in here. Yeah, let's bounce. I'd love to get the shop up and running properly. Get some extra bits and pieces in there too. Maybe I might uh, get some pipes. Pipes are a big thing. I could then start like roaming with revolvers and also selling them. That would be nice. Okay, depot all that stuff. I'm gonna go out on a bit of a noding run with my jackhammer. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of this. It's boring and it? it's just farming, but I need to get my hands on a little bit of metal, I suppose. But mainly, it's a bit of a sulfur grind, and then I get my chainsaw, get some wood, and then we're set. I can just leave the furnaces cooking, and we can go and get up into all of our adventures. Big part of playing solo, you have to dedicate enough time to be able to go and hit rocks and smash trees so that you can actually play. And that's the plan. And with the power of editing, we are home again. You're welcome. As the sun rises on a new day, I think I've decided that I've done enough farming um, and enough barrel smashing for the, for the time being anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run up the road just grabbing any boxes I can find and see really. Just because I wanna try, like I say, I want that higher tier BPs and stuff. And double barrel. Not a bad start. I'm gonna go away from the airfield. I live near airfield and it is... Oh my god, there's fire arrows though. Okay. Time for a depot already. If you know, you know, fire arrows are so good for destroying decayed, decayed TCs or even when you're raiding destroying TCs and stuff. Bloody hate getting road signs. They suck. Oh, fuck off did he see me, man. Oh, someone beat me to it? Shit. Oh. Yeah, someone beat me to it. Didn't think to take the low grade out of them, though. Wow, that TC, that fucking thing actually rinsed through me, didn't it? A few pretty sizable bases around here, and all of the boxes have already been taken. Someone's built themselves a very nice bus stop base. Fucking... Hey, who knew that was a fucking thing? You know, if you took this wall out, or this foundation, I think I'd be able to access those boxes. I might go and get some pickaxes and give that a go, you know? Now, this whole plan is obviously based on my knowledge that stone foundations are seven pickaxes, same as a uh, backward stone wall. I'm pretty sure they are. What have we invested in here so far? It's going to be my jackhammer, 50 scrap. I suppose I've got access to his workbench from here, do I? Oh, it's locked. He's got a locked box. I, oh, he's locked the boxes. I won't be able to get them. I'd need a flamethrower to get them. Mm. I don't think this is worth doing now. He's locked the boxes. Really clever, lad. Okay, that is so irritating. Alright, we wasted 50 scrap crafting a fucking workbench. <laughs> Let's head home again. Okay. When you have that sort of scenario, you can, um, if you don't know, you can access boxes through those, like, proc gen window plates. However, if he's locked them, then obviously I can't. 
but flamethrowers, the flames of a flamethrower do go through them. So if I had a flamethrower, I'd be able to then break them, break the boxes inside, and then be able to just get at the little grey stashes, but I can't do that unfortunately, which sucks. That's a little fact check lesson for you boys. Right, I'm gonna grab a couple of sulfur nodes on my way home, depot this stuff, and then head out, I guess, again, looking for blueprints. God, it's a never-ending trial. And with the more recent updates, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but no one these days has a wooden door anymore. They never, lo like, well, people know, right, not to log off with a wood door, but no one leaves it anymore. Everybody, it's so easy to get your, get your hands on metal. Oh. Is that it, bro? Really? Kind of had just a, just a tad more. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna recycle that. I've never recycled a tier one bench before. Let's see how much you get for it. No scrap. Cool, 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 cool. From that I've got is that I didn't have too much time to play today after work, so I've got to kind of log off now because it's my bloody bedtime. I know that makes me sound like a child, but it's like half one in the morning, and I've got to be up for eight at work, so it's tricky. But hopefully the base is not, the base is pretty darn secure. I mean, like. It's day, I don't know what, two, three of the way, and we're pretty strong. I'd be happy with it, hopefully. I mean, our inner core bit is metal anyway, isn't it? So I'd love to have found, like, garage door or something so far, but mm, none of our blueprints have been forthcoming. Got some shelves now. Nothing's been great. That's the annoying thing so far. Before we go off there, might as well learn that and learn the shelves and those bits and pieces, just so, just in case, just in case. I don't think we'll get raided, but you never know. Right, we're back on, new day, fresh everything. Yeah, you guys asked me why you've been seeing some more official server content recently on the channel, and this is why. Day three of the wipe now, and the server is pretty much dead. It's not dead dead, but like less than half pop, and that is too low for me. I just don't like it. And yes, I can get stuff done, but at the same time, like I want to pe I want to, I want a, a more of a risk element to it, you know? Like I want to go out and die. I mean, I don't want to die, but. They're definitely backwards walls, right? I have a lot of shit on me I want to get recycled, but I suppose we could check it out. That one seems to happen too! I need to check that out. There's some overhang up there I might be able to pick into. Could just be honeycomb that's backwards, to be fair. Fair enough. It's just honeycomb. Let's go recycle, go home, grab some pickaxes, go and see that backwards walled base, and then grab some swords and go and see that wooded wall base. Okay, kind of a game plan formulating right now in my head. And that is good. Not had one of them for a while. Okay, so I've kind of come to a realization, right? If I want to do any raids, which is what I want to do this way, I think I'm going to have to do 10 experiments using all of this scrap and see what we get. Like, we don't have a lot of stuff at all. Have I even learned the pickaxe yet? Oh, this is. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh my good fucking Christ. I have got the pickaxe. Should we do a couple more, see if we can get satchel charge? I mean, I was prepared to fucking do, use all of this shit, so we might as well. Floor grill, meh. I tell you what, we'll keep 500 so that we can craft ourselves the tier 1 bench, tier 2 bench. See, the beauty is if we get satchel charge, that's 250 scrap we've saved. Ew. One more. One more, is it? And then that's that's us done. On the odd experiments. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Dudes, have you ever seen it? You, you hate to... You love to see it. The Rust Gods, Gary and Helg have shone down on me today. Okay, okay, so, fucking balling, I'm gonna get, I've got so much shit that I can get done. This is, is a fucking sulfur haven around here, so let me grind this shit, let me, let me spend the night just like, cooking this into flipping GP and stuff, turning it into some bean cans. Oh, dudes, gee fucking gee. Just to speed up production as well. 
We'll just get the bloody level 2 down. Makes it cooking so much quicker. Love it. Alright, before we roll out with our satchels, what is this little mother truck doing? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Why is that metal? Hello, boxes. Oh my god. Oh my god! Um. Um. Friends. I can, please say I can get out of here, right? Um, I'm sure. I'm sure I can. If not, I'll just. I. I. I yeah. Bash out this box, so I can see what's in that box. This base is actually insane. I want to come back and pick into it, though. Pick into some more of it. Okay, nothing great. That's fine. Nothing too great. I'm freaked out by this base. Should be able to do this. Look at how close I am, man. Got magic. Take that, my motherfucking loop. My problem is that I kind of want to stick it out. Well, where's the rest of it? That car despawned already, right? Oh, well, that's insanely annoying. Has somebody been past and taken it all? Kind of seems like they might have done, you know? But why would they not take this stuff? Fair enough. I mean, I'm not that bothered. All the metal ore, all the stone's gone. But the sulfur is, I guess, what I wanted. Okay. I wonder if it was that guy, whoever's raiding just there. Do I dump this? I'm gonna dump it in the boat. He used ex He's using explosives on this? Okay, fair enough. It won't let me loot him. The fuck? It won't let me loot him. That was my one shot. It won't let me loot him. I need that rad suit, man. I need any sort of weapon he's got. I know he dropped his semi. Which I want. Tommy, even. Oh, I can loot him from here. It won't let me. Rust! He won't let me loot him, man. This is actually a joke. I can't even move my cursor quick enough. He won't let me break him up at all. Right, I'm out. Fuck it. Can't hang around. He didn't get anywhere in that base either. Tempted to bring my fucking satchels back, but not with him around. Right, what I'm actually going to do is the wise thing, I think. That guy basically just said in chat that he was going to come raid me, but there's no way he can know where I live. That island was miles away from our base, which is the bad thing. I'd love to head back on over there, but by the time I've got back, I feel it would just be moot and a moot point. Obviously, I've only got this Tommy. If he's got semi-rifles or anything, he's going to fuck me up. So, what I'm doing right now... Gonna go and do a little bit of a raid of my own, I think. Ten satchels, whack them on the back of this base. Hopefully we get in get TC. Um, oh, that being said, I didn't bring any fire arrows or a door to lock up the breach. Did somebody just crash a minicopter? Or did one just explode? Ah, one might have just exploded because it died. Ooh. If he gets in, normal person would go round. Yeah, this one. Duds in there. That never happens, does it? He's got tier two in here. It's all open. Oh, it's not going to let me in. Tactical knife coming in handy. Of course not. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? 
fucking so lucky, man. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. No sleeper in here. Building plan. Hammer. Fucking door. I don't know if I'm able to get through that, actually. Secured. Love it. Oh, why didn't he have these garage doors closed? Poor lad. Okay, what we got actually then? Fire arrows, another chainsaw. That's not bad at all. A few more bullets. Okay. Nail gun. Meh, 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 meh. The components are juicy. More bits and crap. Some high call. That's nice. This was the money shot though, right? 266, 262 low grade. The high call is the best bit out of that, I think. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Sulfur for profit, not necessarily. Um, looks like we only got 600 sulfur, but you know, a couple of a bit of GP, but I'll take it for the components and stuff. Not freaking bad at all. Let's go, boys. Yeah, guys, that is your boy for the day. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've tried to keep it action-packed, but I've tried to show you a lot of the grind, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this sort of mini-series right now. It's only been a couple of episodes so far, but I think we've tr I've tried to do things a little bit differently today, and I hope you guys have appreciated that. I think... Uh, the comments from the last video really did, and if you could leave a like on this one just to show me this is a style that you enjoy, um, I could do a hell of a lot more of it, because it shows you a lot more of the game, longer episodes, more grind, but at the same time, don't stop until we get something juicy, and I think we've done that again today. So thank you very much for kicking back and chilling with me today. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining me, and being my company. Have an incredible day and an incredible week. I will catch you in the next one. I've been Tills. I'll see you in a couple of days' time. Hopefully we can get another episode out of this wipe. I'd love to do that. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that, or rather me jump again into a fresh wipe. I know a lot of you guys don't like it uh, when I hop about wipes too often, so I like to see what I can do, but the server's dying a little bit, so... Maybe I'll hop on the old official servers and see what happens. But anyway, let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace out.